Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So for this tutorial video, I had somebody in the comment section of one of my videos ask me how I can reinstall a 3D model asset for it that comes with Clip Studio Paint because they accidentally deleted it. So this is going to be real quick and real sweet. Um, so let's say um, I d accidentally delete my 3D model of this manga female. I'm just going to hit that trash can. So there it is. It's, it's no longer there. It's deleted. And so if I close down Clip Studio Paint and restart Clip Studio Paint, you'll notice that the female 3D model is still not there. So simply closing down Clip Studio Paint and restarting Clip Studio Paint does not bring back your 3D models. So what you want to do is you want to open up Clip Studio, not Clip Studio Paint, just Clip Studio. It looks like this. And if you don't know how to open Clip Studio, it should be if you have Clip Studio Paint up on the center part up here, there's an icon that says Open Clip Studio. And so this is the place where you can, um, you're probably more familiar with Clip Studio Assets. This is the place where you can download 3D models. Um, but they don't have the, um, the default 3D models of Clip Studio Paint here. So what we're going to go to is Manage Materials. This On the left hand side you'll see Manage Materials. Now you'll see something that looks like uh, it does in Clip Studio Paint where it has the list of uh, categories where your 3D models are. And you'll notice that your 3D model, your female 3D model is not here because I deleted it. So what we're going to do is come up here to the right hand side where there's this gear, it's settings. We're going to click that and then maintenance menu and then reset additional materials. And now it'll give us a warning that says it can't run because Clip Studio Paint is open. So we're going to have to close Clip Studio Paint. We can come up here to the left hand side where it says return to paint. And we're going to close down Clip Studio Paint. And now again we'll go up to the gear, maintenance menu, reset additional material. Now it's going to tell us that it may take a, a long time. We'll hit it yes. And so here it's putting everything that came with Clip Studio Paint back into your Clip Studio Paint. And so you'll see that the 3D female manga character that I deleted is now back. Now it should also put anything else that you've downloaded from Clip Studio Assets or if you've made anything. Um, let's say I, I made a video where you can make things in, in uh, Blender and convert it into a 3D, into a Clip Studio Paint material asset. Um, so anything that you've put into Clip Studio Paint, it should be, it should put it back. Now you'll notice that um, up here on the right hand, uh, top of the right hand corner, the two arrows, it has a number one there. You can see that it's downloading something. It's actually looking, uh, checking for updates. You can let it run. It, it's going to take a long time, but I usually just stop it. Um, I don't, I don't want to waste time, so I'm just going to stop searching for updates and just close that there. And so now, when you open Clip Studio Paint back up, and there you have uh, the female character is back in Clip Studio Paint. Let me put something there so you can. Uh, so this is how normally it looks like. So when you open up Clip Studio Paint, your your asset is back. So that's how you can uh, reinstall your 3D assets from Clip Studio Paint. Um, I hope you found this informative. Uh, and if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If uh, I also make other Clip Studio Paint tutorial videos. If you want to check out my channel, if you like them, please uh, consider subscribing. And um, also, I wanted to give an update. So, I mean, if that's all you wanted for the tutorial, uh, you can go ahead and click away. That's all I got. The next thing I want to talk to talk to you guys about is um, uh, I haven't been posting videos in a while. If you noticed, the last video I posted was sometime in January. Um, I've been working on a, a comic book. 
I don't want to say too much about it because it's still in progress. I'm halfway done, but it's taking a very long time because I also have a full-time job, and uh, I'm, you know, I'm trying to put in a lot of hard work, and I'm using um, a lot of Clip Studio Paint. I'm, well, I'm using all Clip Studio Paint to make it, but I'm using a lot of the tools in Clip Studio Paint to make it. So uh, soon, what I want to do is make some videos on. Um, how I'm using Clip Studio Paint to make my comic book, or it's not my comic book, it's, it's somebody else's, he wrote the story, but it's his comic book. Um, and also, what I was thinking about is um, how to, how to draw using 3D models. I'm, I'm a little iffy about um, how to draw videos, simply because um, usually the person doing the how to draw it's usually in their style and that's not something when I when I want to learn how to draw I don't want to copy somebody's style I mean I may like somebody's style but it doesn't mean that um, I'm good at it um, I'll explain more about that when when I make those videos but I have those videos planned but I'm not sure when I'll be making those because again I am working a full-time job and I'm also trying to draw pages for these for this comic book and that's taking up a majority of my time but anyways uh if you've made it this far thank you for listening again if you like the video please give it a thumbs up um if uh, you like clip studio paint tutorial videos please consider subscribing and uh yeah hopefully i will see you guys in the next video if i post it anytime soon <laughs> thank you and goodbye.